Hello guys, welcome back to the Labor Factory. I'm your host, Stoyborker. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Dying Light. Last time we left off, we... Well, we unfortunately had to put Jade out of her misery because, well... For some fucking reason... Well, it's not some reason, it's actually the... Simply Rice made us fight for... Fight for Antizen and... We couldn't get any. Oh, wait, it's... It's this close? Wow. Well, whatever. God. Let's, um, let's make some more. Oh, we only have enough for one. are cheering each other apart. I'm gonna take this. Thank you! Quarantine. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Retrieve all disaster relief packages. Okay. Jesus, a dude hanged himself. Jeez, when did this become a horror game? Hmm. 
There we go. How do you determine that if a lockpick is difficult or not? Like how much correction you need? Like how much precision? Or if you're in the general direction and it, it's good enough? Get out. Well, I am going to have to get through that. There's a child uh, monster. Oh my god! Alright. I'll need to retrieve one more. Soppy Seaver boy. Whoopsie! My trigger slipped.
Oh no. Another one. Pretty good goodies in these, admittedly. Like weapons that I haven't seen at least. Oh, cool. Ugh. GRE packages. go through the <laughs> All right. Sector 0. And Jade and I are both infected and Rice made us fight for Antizen. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. Did that. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Quite rainy. Oh. Fun, uh, the fun. <laughs> hey, Troy, there's a distress message coming from the fan zone. That place should be empty. Yeah. Right, maybe I'll check it out. Electronic equipment and ammunition in exchange for medicine, food, and drinking water. Please, help us. Our situation is dire. There are women and children here. We can offer electronic equipment and ammunition in exchange for medicine, food, and drinking water. Please, help us. Oh, God. Hmm, let's see what this is all about. There's this... Apparently, there are women and children. I should check it out. Yeah, we should. See what this is all about, maybe. Oh, God. To anyone who can hear this, our situation is dire. There are women and children here. We can offer electronic equipment and ammunition in exchange for medicine. Food and drinking water. Please help us. To anyone who can hear this, our situation is dire. There are women and children here. 
We can offer electronic equipment and ammunition in exchange for medicine, food, and drinking water. Please, okay. help us. To anyone who can hear this, okay. no. our situation Can't get in there as well. There are women and children here. We can offer electronic equipment and ammunition in exchange for medicine, food, and drinking water. Please, help us. To anyone who can hear this, our situation is dire. There are women and children here. We can offer electronic equipment and ammunition in exchange for medicine, food, and drinking water. Please, help us. To anyone who can hear To anyone who can hear this, your situation is dire. I've killed women and children. I can offer you death in exchange for your medicine, food, and drinking water. Come to me. Tell me what's happening. I'm in the fan zone. This place is a trap. Keep people the hell out of here. Understood. Now take your own advice and get out of there. I think I'm gonna have to deal with this one, Troy. Crane out. So you wish to challenge me? Excellent. Take the elevator, and it will bring you straight to me. I doubt to it. To anyone who can hear this, your situation is quickly deteriorating. I've killed so many, I can no longer remember them all. But they were all. Wait. To anyone who can hear this, I'm going to cut out your eardrums so you won't hear anything. You'll die in total silence. Not to worry. I will hear your screams for you so they won't go to waste. To anyone who can hear this, I was left behind by cowards. But I've survived. By awakening my natural predatory abilities. Here I am, ruler. Here oh. I am king. Here you will die. No. To anyone who can hear this, you're almost mine. How accommodating of you to bring yourself to me. I can barely have to get out of my chair to kill. Oh, come on, do it then. Hurry along. Troy, it's Crane. You alright? Yeah, some psycho's been luring people into the fan zone and hunting them. Must be 15 or 20 bodies down here. Is he dead? And dead as I can make him. Crane out. What is this all about? Hmm. Yeah, understandable. But I already did it. You know what, fuck it, might as well. Shake. 
it. I just lost all those points I gained. Oh god. Noodles. <clears throat> Here's the end. No, I, I don't want to go here yet. <laughs> All right. There we go. Got him. Open this bitch up. Okay, get inside. Eh. area hmm curious Oop. up to Daisy <laughs> all right let's do this Deal with this again. Shut up. I 
damn it, my noodles are spilling everywhere. Spend skill points? Oh, survivor. Oh, cool. And nimble hands. That's a pretty good skill to have. <laughs> Where's the last one? I don't remember now. Okay, that is pretty fast, I have to admit. I already searched through the like the full second floor. Oh, 
Oh my god. All right. Interesting, interesting. And it's fucking night. What do you mean night is coming? Night is <laughs> Ow. Isn't night already here? Need some new gear. Gotta deliver some stuff. There's two. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Let's find this Rupert, dude. How far is he? Oh, he's around there. Oop. 
power. Stun kill. Well, if I can. And another upgrade. Not sure if I'm ever going to use this, but I guess better safe than sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Unfortunate. Here's the end. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's try a slap. Let's go meet this dude. Sounds a bit worrying. Who are you? I'm Crane. I was looking for Rupert. No, you weren't. You were looking for a gunsmith who happens to be named Rupert. Right, fair enough. Would like to talk about some weapon modifications? You work for Rise? No. Mm. Well, I suppose that helps. But I'm waiting for my wife Jasmine to come back. Until she's here, I can't leave. Has she been gone long? No, not long. So it'll probably be a while before she returns. And what about these kids? Are their parents... Dead, I hope. Every day, I'm terrified that one of them is going to look out the window and see their mother or father shambling down the street. I don't know what I'm going to do when that happens. What have you told them? Half-truths. That a dark magic has taken over the city, but that I am a good wizard who can protect them. It's the sort of game that doesn't end. Jasmine is better at this sort of thing. Hell, I'm a gunsmith. What am I doing playing this magical nonsense? Seems to me you're doing pretty well. Well, I'm not. There's okay. a girl named Isla. She's a diabetic. 
Only her insulin ran out a while ago. Now her blood sugar is sky high. She's dehydrated and exhausted. Jasmine says if she doesn't get some insulin soon, she'll slip into a coma and die. And here I am in this stupid wizard hat, and the kids are waiting for me to cure her with a magic potion. Maybe it's time to tell them the truth. There is no good magic, only the dark kind. Take it easy, Rupert. There's a drugstore in town. Maybe I can find some insulin there. Are you serious? Mister, if you could do that, I can't tell you how grateful I'd be. I've got a radio here. If my wife Jasmine comes back, I'll probably go home for a while, but I'll let you know before I leave. All right, all right. All right. All right, all right. God, it's the big guys. That's ringing the dinner bell. in here. There we go. How far is the next pharmacy? Um, bit of a walk, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> 
inventory. Requisition packs. Bunnies. Desert standard issue hellfire. What the fuck? Mighty short sword. Superior iron axe. What the fuck? Premium slaughterhouse. Climber pick. Hunter's machete. Gun knife. Are you kidding me? Honestly, getting ridiculous.
I don't see any insulin. Hey, Troy, can you hear me? It's Crane. Yes, Crane. What do you need? There's a bunch of kids in the Magic Fortress. Did you know about this? It's news to me. We thought that place was empty. Do they need assistance? From what I've seen, yes. It's going to take time to get anyone over there. Understood. I'll stay until someone arrives. Hey, look, in the meantime, I need insulin. I'm at the drugstore now, but it's been picked clean. Maybe you could check and see if the computer works. There should be records of people who bought the insulin last, along with their addresses. Maybe they still have it? Thanks, Troy. Out. Rupert, this is Crane. Look, no luck here. Damn it. Isla's lying down. She doesn't look right. I think we're almost out of time. Oh, but there is a receipt here for insulin sold to someone named Ekram Bozkurt. That ring a bell? That's Isla's father. Maybe he left the insulin at their home. His address is on the receipt. All right, I'll head over and have a look. Ow. Fucking take a jump down. Ugh, Crane, you're such a. I don't know, even.
Rika. I'm driving to the pharmacy to get Alia's medication, then to Farhat Pizzeria, and then I'll pick up Alia from daycare. We should be home with dinner by six. We love you, my darling, Ekram. So we got to the pharmacy, but he never picked up his daughter. Rupert, where's Farhat Pizzeria? What? Just get me the address. It's near the Magic Fortress on Mercantile Street. F7. I'm no hero, I'm just... Oh, more... I don't know what they're doing. Sabi... There we go, another one. This is, um... Whatever. 
All right, let's get get this thing uh, to Rupert. <coughs> get this thing be get this thing done with. <laughs> You've done it. Will she be all right? Yes, yes, it's exactly what she needs. I'll take care of Isla, but could you keep the other children busy while I'm with her? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm really, I'm pretty busy. Just talk to them. That's all you need to do. I've already told them you're a great warrior, like a knight. You did? When's your wife coming back? <laughs> You'll be fine. I just need a few minutes. Children! This heroic warrior has returned with a healing elixir for Isla. Now, he's going to stay here and be your protector, while I administer the elixir to Isla. Well, now, hang on, wait. I won't be long. Oh, God. <laughs> Good grief. Hey there, bud. What's your name? Kadeem. Kadeem. I like that name. I have a secret. Really? Yeah, well, so do I. <laughs> What's your secret? I'm a GRE agent. What do you got? Can you get my blocks for me? But that's that's not really a secret. But some of them are downstairs, near the basement. And Mr. Rupert said we're not ever to go near the basement. Not ever. But I went down there just to see. And I heard a scary sound, and I kind of dropped my blocks. They're kind of all over. Could you get them back for me? Huh, that's a tall order, but I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Well. the last block no Little kiddo. Here you go. Here you go, Kadeem. All blocks accounted for. Thanks. Hey, are you going to tell Rupert about this? So, will you keep my secret? That you work for the... Who is that again? Your secret's safe, Kadeem. But I'm gonna talk to Rupert about those noises in the basement. I heard them too. Yeah. Isla's okay. She's sleeping now. She'll need some time to fully recover. Really? Thank you again, Mr. Crane. My wife Jasmine should be back any time now, and since I know how tiring these kids can be, I'm sure you'll be wanting to move on. No, not just yet. But, well, our supplies are very limited. Look, this is too much responsibility for one person, Rupert. I've sent for help. They'll be here soon. 
That's not necessary. Jasmine and I can handle things just fine. Rupert, I was downstairs. Oh. I see. I'm, I'm sorry, Rupert. Sometimes in those noises, I think I can still hear a tiny trace of her voice. Oh. Jeez. I was hoping it would be over by now, but I couldn't do it. My wife. My beautiful, beautiful Jasmine. This has to end. I would let her kill me before I would lift a finger to harm her. Just give me the basement key. <laughs> oh, God. Oh god, that freaking terrified me. Well, I guess it's time. Is there a child? Or did he lock her in here? Alright. it is. I guess it's over. Got to deliver the news. Well. Did you find her? Were you able to help her? She has peace now. Thank you. From both of us. I hope somewhere I may find forgiveness for what I did, for what I couldn't do. Hey, it's okay, man. But I think I'm gonna leave this video off here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of, uh... This episode of freaking, uh... Um... Of dying light we did quite a bit of quite a lot this episode and we've we were able to clear up some of our side quests actually quite a lot of we actually cleared up and hopefully we can get back to playing the main story soon but it appears there are still some side a lot of side jobs actually still to do around here so yeah but um anyways thank you all so much for watching leave a like if you liked it dislike if you hated it because it will help the series out a lot do leave a comment if you have something on your mind with the whole maybe side stories and side quests like uh how things are around here maybe maybe you guys actually have something else to say 
Maybe this didn't tickle your fancy and all that. I don't know. You're going to leave a comment. And uh, please do consider subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next video. But as always, stay awesome. Peace.